Good morning, it's Nigerian journalist Kemi Omolulu Olunlaya. I just arrived in Ibadan and today is Thursday, the 10th of May 2019. On this broadcast, I'm going to talk about some serious issues. In the last 48 hours, you've been reading everything I had to say about Davido and his uncle's governorship tussle. Davido who you know I have lots of issues with, from the beginning of when I started investigating the murder of his friends to his child abandoned. However, my problem is really with my work, journalism. After Chime Taibu and DJ Olu's deaths were finally over, which he thinks it's over, he proceeded to insult me because I did an entertainment story saying that he and Chioma had broken up. Everybody, Maybe not everybody, because some fools are still asking me, what has Davido done to me? You need to follow me on Twitter, at HNN Africa, Facebook, and Instagram, Kemi Olunlaya, YouTube, Kemi Olunlaya TV. If you're following me on all four platforms, you'll know what's going on. Everything I'm reporting. You can't follow me one place and not the other. I don't like illiterates that tell me, I'm not on Twitter, I'm not on Instagram. You need to be on all of them to know the latest. Well, this morning, Adele K's case and Oyetala's case is going to be decided in the appeal courts. And more than likely, the appeal court is going to say Adele K won the governorship. But then they can also take it to the Supreme Court of Nigeria, where Wike took his and finally won. And of course, that judgment superseded the rest, and Wike is still the governor now, heading to eight years. Anything can happen. I'm not a PDP agent. I'm not an APC agent. I'm not even an AAC agent. I only supported the candidates I liked. For governor, I supported Shea Mackinde. For president, I supported Yeli Showery. For House of Reps, I supported Oluye Akinyalami, Shino Pella, the ones in my state, and of course, House of Assembly. I supported everybody PDP over there because the house has been so disarrayed for a long time under APC. And you guys saw me campaigning, get APC out of Oyo State, get APC out of Ibano. All that stuff was done. I picked the leaders I wanted. Davido can pick whoever he wants, okay? But it's not by force to be the nephew of a governor. You've been the nephew of a governor before. Isiaka Adelike, the best in that family. The man who was like my dad's boy. If I stop putting pictures out of Isiaka and my dad, you'll be shocked. The governor, first executive governor of Oshu State, who ended up going to Abuja to become the senator and died. Oh, he didn't die. He was killed. And I'll tell you who killed him, too. His brother came from America, took the seat of Senate, and still wanted to be the governor. Was that the quick route? You'll hear more. I'm an investigative journalist at the end of the day. What's going on is that we have Davido making threats at Oyetala posting threats on social media, creating pages to be against Oyetala and much more. It's starting to rain and there will be lightning, so let me get out of here. But at the end of the day, the fact remains that national security is compromised when you start threatening a sitting governor, even if they have to remove him. Don't do that. The feds are very crafty. They'll arrest you and they'll charge you with anything and everything. There's a murder case that Deji Adeyanju, an activist, was arrested for. He was acquitted of that murder case. And in the process of that acquittal, Adeyanju, let me get into this keke here. In the process of that acquittal, Adeyanju was let go. But five, six years later, they came back and said that he's still convicted. He's still this, he's still that. His activism was very raw fighting for the Shihites, fighting for everybody, even fought for me when I was arrested. At the end of the day, what happened to Adeyanchu? They arrested him again, and he said it relates to the murder case. President Buhari is the commander-in-chief of the armed forces. And being the commander-in-chief of the armed forces, he's the commander of anything, okay? And if President Buhari doesn't like Adeyanchu, activating for the Shiites or for anybody as a matter of fact then you can all call him a dictator we all know all the dictators in Nigeria including Buhari who doesn't even know yet that 
He's, even, he's not even a democratic president yet. President Buhari promised us that he will leave the dictatorship behind when he became PMB from GMB. He told the British media that. But so far, we've seen a lot of dictatorship issues. Maybe he's not directly involved in some of these things, like my arrest that said Buhari is not involved, but it was his government. My great, 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 great grandchildren will just remember Buhari was the president when their great, 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 great grandmother was arrested. At the end of the day, we're in a corrupt media and political establishment in Nigeria. We have the most corrupt media and political establishment. I said media because the media has been sold. In the, in the old days, you printed papers and you sold them. Today, the papers have been sold before they even printed. A lot of the politicians own the papers. If you don't know that by now, you're knowing now, today. At the end of the day, people, you got to remember, okay, that you own this country. And there's no one telling Davido that he does not own this country. But when you stop putting red signs against Oyetala's face online, Operation Oyetala must go, Operation, don't put Operation in front of anything. They will arrest you or kill you. Okay? And if they kill you, they make it look like an accident. Let me tell you something, David, I delicate. Okay? You may have disgraced me on social media. Okay? And I said, I hope you and your family get disgraced as well. You're getting that disgracing treatment now. Your uncle was arrested for crimes of forgery and all this stuff that they claim that he used to even become a senator. Davido, answer me. Who killed your uncle, Isiaka Adeleke, the late governor, that died while I was in prison? You think I didn't look at that case? People were telling me, Kemi, don't touch that case. It's closed. Somebody injected him with protopine while diazepam was in his system. I'm a pharmacist. Protopine is never in the same IV line as diazepam. Even if you're the most foolish nurse, okay, nobody does that. That's why Sahara reporters call the nurse a quack nurse. And it's not even about being quack. It was deliberate. Governor Isiaka, Senator Isiaka Adelike was murdered. So if you don't know that, I'm telling you now, just like I told you that Veronica, your mother Vero, was found in a room dead with cocaine next to her, apparent suicide. Because they told you that she was poisoned, right? At a party, nobody poisoned your mother at a party. Surviving DeVito number 11. This is what this video is about. And it's on youtube.com slash TV. You need to watch part one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You need to get your shit together, okay? One of your friends that was murdered, the father is now a governor. In a few weeks, he'll be sworn in. And he's in their party, APC, Dakwa Biodun. DJ Olu's father is now a governor. All right? And if he decides to reopen his son's murder case, yeah, murder, okay? They were coughing blood and they died in the car. And I grilled Imohini, Edgar Imohini, the former Lagos police chief. I sent a lot of videos. They're all on HNN Africa and Instagram. That we want to know the hard drugs they found on them. As media, we need to know what the hard drugs were. You're an American citizen, Davido. In America, they'll take these drugs to the lab and test toxicology for them and the blood of the dead. And they'll find out whether it was hard drugs. No hard drug in this world will cut your gut and make you bleed. If you're bleeding and coughing up blood, you've been poisoned. It has cut your esophagus. Don't think we're stupid. I'm very intelligent, even though people call me a crazy mad woman because they don't like the truth. I know everything about everybody, Davido. I'm not looking for your apology. That's too late. Your child, I give her 10,000 naira a month for food. Okay, that's all I can afford. Food, 10,000 is good for a five-year-old. And I've paid her school fees for a second and I'll pay the third term. Just know that when it's time for you to pay child support, whether it's on a court order or not, you're going to owe me money. At the end of the day, Davido, take my advice. I don't need your apology. Just listen to me and watch this video 10,000 times. 
If they arrest you and charge you for murder of your friends, you'll be surprised. You will be very, very surprised. Okay? You'll think somebody's trying to witch hunt you. Okay? The feds have ways of doing stuff. Look what they did to Adenia Ju, like I said. They'll arrest you for one thing, they'll charge you for the other. They'll arrest you for one thing, they'll make up another one. I'm not stupid. I went through that three times. I am the daughter of a high-ranking politician who served 51 appointments in 58 years. And I was locked up three times in Port Harcourt, maximum prison, the largest prison in Africa. Who are you? Omo Babalowo, which money does your father have? $700 million, which is really Nigeria's money because Deji was IBB's boy. And IBB was one of the most generous presidents on this land. I remember how Babangida used to pay people's school fees, get visas for them, anything. Olonshua well, Lakija, his wife's designer. A tailor who made Mrs. Babangida's clothing. She got an oil block too. Look how she invested and became a billionaire. Of course, we knew a passenger gave her a hard time trying to get it all back. Your father got lots of oil blocks too. Oh, you forgot that tweet that Wale sent me, Chairman HKN, the dumb fool, your fat brother, the dark skinned one. Okay, your father's baby mama's son, Grace's son. Some people even think you guys have the same mother. No, that, that is Grace's child. I know your family more than you think. What did Grace's son say? Stupid woman, Mumu. Every rich person in Nigeria gets an oil block. Wale, every rich person in Nigeria does not get an oil block. You're the Mumu. You spoil brats. You rich children think that every rich person actually got an oil blood. The people who are rich in Nigeria simply because they worked hard. And many are rich without oil and gas. Open your eyes, you stupid children. We are the children of the elite. You are the children of the rich. There's two different kids here. The children of the elite are elite. Okay, and that's what I am. We don't have a lot of money, but we're comfortable. But the children of the rich have mounds of money and they really need power. They want to be powerful and they want to be elite. And, excuse me. They want to be elite. They want to be powerful. They want to be everything that we are. You can't. You can't force it. Money and power is not always the same. Just go ask three people. Go ask Ajimobi about money and power. Go ask Mayor Bloomberg of New York. You can Google him. Go ask Abiola MKO or go ask Kabacha. The money and <laughs> power may not always be attainable. So now let me warn you. If your uncle wins the appeal court, he becomes governor. If Oyetala and Buhari and APC Take that case to the Supreme Court of Nigeria. Your battle continues. But why? It's very hard rain here. But while that Supreme Court battle is going on, I've already assumed that they're going to take it to the Supreme Court. Zevido, keep your mouth shut. Don't say a word. Shino and B Red are not talking. Even your father, DG, is not talking, but your mouth is so fucking loud. Threatening people left and right. Your friends are advising you. And if you want to consider me your number one enemy, I am also advising you. This is Nigeria. Shout out to Falls. Falana's son, a human rights lawyer that's very, very powerful. Maybe not as rich as you guys. But Falana's son too was censored in Nigeria because of a song. This is Nigeria. So know that you're nobody. And that American accent you're swaying all the place. I got kids who are older than you, same age as you and whatnot. Okay? When you were born on the 21st of November, all right, in 1992, I wish Veronica was here. Your mother went into labor on the 19th and I was with her. We were all there, the neighborhood moms. Onyelade was about to turn one year old on the 22nd of November. But of course, your mom couldn't come because you were born on the 21st. 
At the end of the day, I had to babysit two kids at one point when she went to the mall. You were like about three, well, let me see, January, February. You were like two, three months old. David Adelike, the chubby little boy. Now the big mouthed, stupid fool. You telling me to oil my pussy. Talo bie, eh? David o talo bie, you want to suffer me kemi lo oil pussy me, any weary, me cheap drug user. Oche ma rabo chen soro. Curse wa wa no family yi. You what, omo to bisita de legbe curse yi. Onti to ba shen koto lo ni ko she, nko kon le change fun yi. Shoti ye, ma she ke yi lo fun bogba ye. Look by delicate curse, and with the hashtag Lelo Internet, only look at Instagram, a delicate curse. Anybody to buy affiliated, see, yeah, to my general this year. She be most on prophet KO predictions. Oh, quick, Agbar and Cocon, Muni Mulagbar alone. I mean, prophet. Can you more predict? Will I hear my turbulence in 2019? Turbulence is being play alone, repent. Turbulence is very fun right now. Would I be alone? Go forgive a full sheet or saucy me. We call him a Benzi at this point. Me need apology alone, Kobe. I'm not today abandoned. They look bomb way. Nineteenth, my man, they going to leave. We're not beyond my year. Nineteenth of November. Mitchell, I know, I know, I know. I go at the lake. I'm not going to sack you. The school, I'm going to go at the lake. You are joking on show she. I'm not sure what kid. I'm not sure what talk by the new Instagram. Slay Queen talk by the Hermit Dean. So Jack, I'm not going to talk by the new Amanda. Amanda, I'm not sure. Tell her marry secretly Amanda Adeleke. Amanda the American get Mama Haley. Hema Dean Samon. To want to in 2011 for shoplifting. This girl was arrested for shoplifting. Hema Dean Samon, this, this Georgian girl that Davido met, the slave queen in the DM. But in your Tilikpa County, what verified? Verified account, everything, big artists. The girl Googled David, the next thing you know, they met. You can Google somebody. You can meet someone in Facebook, someone in DM. I've met so many guys in the DM and Facebook that they're my friends today. But it's just not that I don't have any boyfriend yet that I met on social media. They get it to bed, she gets pregnant, of course, because she wants to be the baby mama. They have a baby, Haley. He's there taking care of Haley. He's there doing this and doing that. Forgotten his oldest child that was born when he was a nobody. How many hits did you have when Anu was born? Eh? And my damn Iduro and what other, what, you know, 20 years old. I'm not the only one that slept with him. I'm not the only one that slept with him. Now I have somebody following me around. Show my tongue, 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 playing wife here. Only Perusity, do, 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 do. Or is he a fuck, fuck, fuck to your man? You sit down there doing this, doing that. Give us some brain. We have no brains, David. I'm giving you concrete advice. Hermadine, shoplifted. Okay? So now, she doesn't shoplift anymore because you're a billionaire and you've opened a nail salon for her. What education does she have? Davido's baby mama in Atlanta. You're living a life that you shouldn't be living. baby mama Atlanta. mama Nigeria, London, wherever. abandon Unsukiri all the place. You're living a reckless life, David. I'm just gonna tell you now. As I'm doing this video, your mother is watching from above. God bless you, Veronica. Adelike. God bless Nigeria. Be careful. Keep your mouth shut. Don't say a fucking word. Don't even post on your Instagram. I can't tell you not to do that. Okay? Because more than likely, they're going to say that Demola won once again. And then Ayatollah and the APC crowd will probably take this stuff to the Supreme Court. But stop threatening a sitting governor. Stop making incitements that people could come on the streets and fight. No journalist in Nigeria will tell you this. They don't report anything in Nigeria. They under-report the news. They're paid with brown envelopes. And of course, they're owned by the politicians. Only I will tell you the truth, David Adeleke. Surviving David o chapter 11. I was forced to do it. I thought I was done at chapter 10. I'm Kemi Omololu, a lawyer, Nigerian journalist. Just arrived in Ibadan. I have some things to do here before I leave again. Um, heading to Joss. Today, 
May 10th, 2019. And let's see, the time should be about 8 a.m. now. Have a great day, everybody.